Guys, I have something to hand to you and you have to film it. What do you mean? Just close your eyes and put your hand out. Put your hand no, out. No, no. It's nothing that will hurt you. She did this to me. It's like, do not drop it. Okay? No, oh. No, no, it's not. It's nothing like that. I swear it's to okay. God. It's okay. I'm holding it. Oh god. It's like okay. Oh, god. Oh, no, 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 no,
dive right there. Okay, well, this place was originally opened in 1951 and it was opened up by the Felician Sisters of the Roman Catholic Church. So this was an entirely Catholic run hospital, but it didn't stay open as a hospital for very long and it actually closed down in 1986. The reason for this is because there was another hospital that ended up opening up nearby and taking its business away, but also the high turnover rate and also the high death rate that happened here. And the time that this place was opened as a hospital, it accounted for over 2000 deaths and 500 of these deaths happened in a six year period, which for those of you who don't know, that is insane for a hospital. Whenever I was originally thinking about the number of 500, I was like, well, that's gotta be like, maybe typical for a hospital. I don't really know how many people a year die at a hospital, um, but no, that is an insane amount. And really thinking about the size, it is not very big. And you only have like a few rooms, two wings. A lot of this happened because of patient abuse and neglect, and they were not able to hold a staff over a long period of time. Okay, I'm gonna try to put this like white stuff on right here. There are hundreds upon hundreds of stories of terrible malpractice and patient deaths. But while this place was open, by far the most horrific story I had ever heard was whenever it was run by nuns. Those of you who don't know, wherever there's nuns, there has to be a priest. And the priest lived in the basement floor of this building. And whenever he was down there, he was not participating in very priestly activities. Um, he was not a good guy, not a moral man at all, not a man of God, including getting some of the nuns pregnant. But there's a lot of questionable things about the nuns who also worked here. I'm really unsure on if this was more because of SA or if because the nuns were consenting to something like this. But either way, the nuns ended up participating in a crime on his behalf. Somebody found out about the priest participating in these non-priestly activities and decided to be a whistleblower for this church slash hospital and ended up taking off and trying to report this to upper authorities. Instead of getting the justice that was needed and taking out all the corrupt people, the nuns and the priests decided to plot his unaliving. Once they caught wind of this, he brought the man into the basement, unalived him, and disposed of his body potentially through the incinerator that is down there currently. And from what I know and what I've been told, I don't think that justice was ever served in that aspect either for that poor man. But this is not the only thing to have happened while this place was a hospital. Another thing that happened was a double murder unaliving that also happened in the basement as well. <laughs> And it's also quite dusty in here too. Also while this place was a hospital, it was run by a doctor by the name of Dr. Leon Noworski for a while. And he is known for more mistakes than he is for successes. Uh, he had, I believe the longest license in Texas history. He was like the first person to get licensed and then practice well into his nineties. But his reputation was not, was not a very good one. And one of his mistakes, including slitting a guy's throat open in the middle of a thyroid surgery, um, which it just seemed very unclear on how that could have even been a mistake at all. The procedure that he was doing was supposed to be a very simple, easy procedure. All the spirits mentioned so far, including his spirit, are all said to reside here somewhere. But there's also the spirit of a patient that lives here by the name of Stacy. She's a little girl and I'm really excited about her. I hope she comes out. I hope we get to play with her a little bit. I brought my Barbie sheep for her. But it's a little bit unclear on how she passed away, but while she was a patient here, Dr. Noworski ended up gifting her the book, The Pokey Little Puppy. So I know that she does like to be read that. So we'll see if we can throw her a ball, sing her a little song, or read her a little bit of her favorite book. It's probably gonna just look a little bit messy, but we'll see what we can do. She's apparently one of the most interactive ghosts here, and a lot of people see her pretty frequently. And she's also someone that likes to come in and play in the basement. So that basement is really like jam-packed with stuff. Well, later on, whenever the hospital closed down in 1986, it reopened some years later as a rehab drug facility. The state came in and officially closed it down in 1992, but during the time that it was a drug rehab facility, they ended up acquiring their other ghost, which is TJ. TJ, they've theorized, was somebody who was looking for treatment but whenever he came up and rang the bell in order to be let into the facility, he just no one ever came. And whenever they went outside the next morning, they saw him just on the ground, passed away, which is just completely heartbreaking that nobody was there to actually open up the door for him, let him in, get him the help that he needed. The other thing that occurred potentially while it was a drug rehab facility, I actually don't know this for sure, but it would make a little bit more sense because it wasn't, this wasn't nuns at the time, this was coworkers, um, but apparently a double unaliving unaliving, a double unaliving, self unaliving happened in the basement here. It was a love triangle that happened between a female employee, a patient and a coworker. The woman was caught in the boiler room with one lover by another lover. And the one that caught them took out a knife and then stabbed woman to death. While the other guy who was involved in the incident ended up wrestling the knife out of his hand and then turning around and killing him. Coming to senses of everything that had happened, he ended up taking his own life in the process. And allegedly there is still blood stains on the wall from this event. The current owner actually went and got it tested and it came back positive for human blood. This is just one of those places where it seems like all of the memories of everything that has happened is just 
trapped here in the walls and the furniture and the church and the equipment. But the most terrifying part of this place, and my personal theory, is that I think that the demon Valak might actually reside here. And the reason that I think that is one because of all the trauma that has occurred, but two, because there is an apparition of a violent nun that resides here. And this nun is known to attack people for one, having tattoos, two, not being modest, and pretty much following anything that isn't typically Catholic. Well, this could be an apparition of a angry nun left over from before. Many people think that this is some sort of a demon masquerading around as a nun because it doesn't seem normal for just a regular spirit of a past human to have that much power. So the people that have taken over here have actually really just not wanted to come inside anymore. The woman who originally had it and originally bought it, um, she now sends her husband over to do tours because she won't even enter inside here anymore and he even said one day when she came back from work because she has some tattoos it looked as though mike tyson had gotten a hold of her she was so badly beaten by whatever angry spirit resides in here potentially not a spirit and potentially something a lot darker than that um, i'm gonna finish my makeup and come right back okay so i went ahead finished my makeup and i'm gonna take my hair down just kind of finish off this nun look i was going to uh bring my scary teeth but i didn't actually bring it with me this little head covering but i know for those of you who have like seen the nun or like have done research on the demon of Valak, you guys probably know that Valak actually looks like a baby and not necessarily the same way that Valak looks in the movie. That was more conjured for the Conjuring series, if you will. However, I do think that whatever might be here is demonic and is masquerading as a nun. And the thing is with demons, knowing their name gives you power over them. But if we don't know this one's name, who is it? So let's go ahead and get into the investigation. But I just have like this bad feeling that my tattoos um, might piss this thing off. I actually put on an entire sleeve for this, but I'm a little bit worried that I'm gonna provoke it a little bit too much with everything going on so far. Um, and I'm also gonna take off this makeup look before actually investigating, because again, wanna be respectful. I don't wanna think that it, I'm like making a mockery of it. Yes, this is my completed nun look. Hey. Um, so there's been movement outside my door a bunch and I thought you guys were over there a minute ago. No, we got attacked in the fucking basement. What do you mean? Scratch. Where? Look, scratch. Where? She got hit. It's, I think it's gone. Well, like, you want to know what else was really what? crazy? You know how I feel things? Yeah. First of all, I walked in that cage and I'm like, it felt like Hill House. That's how bad it felt. I was like, what the fuck? So I stepped out of it. No, the basement's icky. The basement's oh, bad. Oh, it's so icky, but guess what? You don't what? feel it until you get to his room. I didn't know that this was his yes. room. I didn't know that was the air. Yeah, so I'm sitting here, I'm redoing my makeup right now because again, I don't wanna piss off whatever's here. Um, I don't want it to get like offended by what I'm doing like while we're actually physically investigating. Uh, uh, Nikki was like, oh, I just saw some, some Yeah, so we were standing here and I there's a doorway literally directly behind where you guys can see. I'm sure Liz will show you what we are looking at. Yeah. But um, I saw like a shadow go past and I just said, I just saw something. And then Liz, and I turned around toward the camera and Liz said, I just saw something too. Yeah. I saw a shadow, which is crazy because I didn't mention it was a shadow. No, it, both like, a shadow. it like darted into that. That, that room or hallway. That's not a room, that's a hallway. Yeah. It darted into the hallway. Into the left side. Yep. That's what I saw too. So it might be more than one. <gasps> like something was following it? Yeah, like it was two. Yeah, let me show you guys. I don't love that. It's that. Do you guys see where it breaks off into that hallway right there? Okay, guys, I quickly finished getting ready and I'm gonna show you exactly where we saw the shadow figure go to. I'm also gonna bring my EMF detector with me to see if I get any levels where it goes up a little bit. Um, obviously this one beeps, but you kind of want it to get into like a little bit of a middle area. And places like this, it is a lot harder to get a read or more of like a significant amount of evidence if you do get a read because there's no EMFs in here. There's no electricity. Um, there's no Wi-Fi. nothing like that in here. It took off down this hallway. Um, so we're gonna take Liz's EMF detector and see if we can pick anything up down this hall because that's where we saw it go. We also got bit by bugs already. Getting bit by mosquitoes. Um, I think this is so creepy. This, is this gives me like scary vibes. Maybe you should go put the thing in there. I don't even know if I want to stick my hand in there, y'all. There's a bunch of rusty stuff in there. Yeah, maybe don't put your hand in there. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like there's like slightly broken glass on the side. 
but let's keep monitoring this as we go past. So this is the adult hall, and this is where Dr. Leon Noworski would actually practice. These are all like original things from the hospital, which is so crazy yeah, to me. I know, isn't that wild? So you guys can see all the original stuff. And I'm really happy that I'm here again, like with a much better camera, because last time I was here, it was my iPhone. Oh, Nikki, I found you a toilet. Sorry? Oh, no, we found a few toilets, but I ain't gonna use that. Um, should we lay down? Lay should we take a little nap? That's like asking to get tetanus. Yeah. Here, can you mm -hmm. use it in that? I can sleep here. Oh. What is that? Like a porch? Yeah, it looks like it. This little backyard area. Okay, so this was the surgical room. Oh. Holy crap. So what he said is like the ones that are blocked off like this is because he's worried about the safety of those rooms. Yeah, so I totally believe that. What are we doing in my laboratory? Not even getting any reads on this thing yet, so I'm wondering if maybe we're a little are bit. Are you getting any like emotional reads? No, I I don't feel anything right now, which is weird. Oh my gosh, is that blood or paint? Paint, paint. That's too red to be dry going okay. like over time. Should we look in the tools? You gonna open it up? I don't know. What if there's bugs? Oh, <laughs> are you just? The other one. Me? I might just fall. And then Nick, you do the last one on the honor. Oh. <laughs> oh. No, there's some like bandages and stuff. Rusty oh. little tools. It's like the first aid kit's still in there. And this unit. Kind of breezy over here. It is a little bit breezy. Clicking noise in here. Oh, there's a. What is that? <laughs> what machine is this? Should we go to the children's side? Yeah, let's go to the children's sector. So. Because that's where we saw them coming from. It could have been children ghosts playing. Yeah, so there's. um. Did you read about Stacy? No. So Stacy is the child ghost that lives here and she plays here a lot and she's the most active ghost. Oh. Um, and her favorite book is The Pokey Little Puppy. She likes nursery rhymes so we can like sing to her too. There's like old books and stuff like that. Oh really? This is like where they would like check in. Yeah, yeah, these were like the main the main desk areas. Should we, should I we don't know, I'm scared of gonna like a walk in or something. No, no paper They took all the paper. Though. They took all the paper. Well I don't really want to open it actually, but you can open it. What is Camera that? man. Camera yeah, man. In memory of it's it's just donated okay. by Just an empty closet. Stuff. I'll go get my Barbie Jeep too to go lay in front of her room. Come on, Barbie, let's go party. Ah, 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 yeah. Oh, my ears ringing. Like somebody wants to communicate? Yeah. I don't know. Do you feel like it did it stop ringing? Yeah. It's, it's not ringing anymore. Should we go in there? Oh, shoot. Maybe we should wait till the end. <laughs> Let's go explore everything. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, let's see if we can see if I'm a child spirit and then go in there. Yeah, this is where they kept babies. Oh, this, this is like a crib. Baby room. I have oh. such bad baby fever right now, you guys. This so. is like a little, little bit, but this is Stacy's room right here. Oh, but the ceiling's like not great? Yeah, the ceiling looks a little bit rough. Um, but Stacy, if you're here, and you're wanting to play with anything, I'm sure you know what Barbie is, because Barbie was definitely around back in the 50s. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this is like a And that was back, back in the, where it was back in the church. Shoot. Okay, I'm gonna just leave this over here. And we should go look. Yep. That was a loud bang. Yeah, Stacey, if you wanna come over here, you can play with it, you can move it around. Um, you can give the dolls a little tap, whatever you want to do. Um, and if you do that, it'll kind of let us know that you're here and that you're wanting to play, but obviously it's up to you. We won't force you to come play with us, um, but we'll be able to hear you if you want to. Yeah, so people will break in here and hold seances. That's why he has all the alarms up right. on, yeah. Is that fake one or real one? That one, um, that looks, still looks fake. That one looks like a little that. more suspicious to me. That looks more real to me than yeah. the other one because it's kind of like drying weird. Mm -hmm. 
not saying it is or isn't, but that one's iffy. Because her ear was ringing originally, yeah. and then suddenly there was a loud bang when we decided not to go over there. Yeah. So it really does feel like something wants our attention. Yeah, my ear was ringing whenever I walked into this and then stopped when I left. I um, also wonder what simultaneously the girls are doing in the basement right oh, now. Oh, shoot, I didn't even think about that. Wait, couldn't we check? Is Trinity on live? Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm going to check what they're check doing to see if they're doing anything that might correspond. Is this above the basement? Their ramp pod's going off. They're talking to something. I literally asked. Are you kidding me? We were just talking about how my ovulus hasn't gone off this entire time, and I pick it up to try to talk, and it says hair. Does yeah. does the priest like long hair? <gasps> they're talking about the, the priest, priest, and I now there's pills. activity in here, dude. Just so okay. you know. Putting out that rim pod. What's this? They're asking. Oh, shoot. Okay, while wait, Liz was on here. Wait, go back to the live, because it said, did you scratch me? And then it went, oh. <gasps> what if it's answering her, dude? Wait, should I wait, leave, leave the yeah, live on? Yes, leave the live on. Because it didn't answer her. Yes. Yes. It stopped talking to them, and yeah. now it's beefing up here. Are you, yeah, are you still here after all these years? Are you still here? Is there something? that is wanting to communicate or get her attention. We know that uh, Liz's ear was ringing and then the REM pod was going off. Mm -hmm. We also think we may have saw you earlier too. There was two shadows that followed each other down the hall. You scratched a couple of our friends too. Well, someone did. If it wasn't you, do you know who it was? Okay, it's weird. Now it's silent, but that literally just went off. Yeah. Do you think we should go down there and meet up with them? I think so, because I think that they need to know what just happened, too. Yeah, that it answered it was the priest. Yep. Yeah. Hey, girls, we're coming down. I don't remember exactly where it is, but Ooh, this one has a different smell. This yeah. This one has a different smell. Well, we'll hear them as we get closer. Right? Oh, yeah. I hear this. This wall's about to collapse. Dude, that's scary. That's so funny. scary. Hey, girls. Hey girls, it's us. It's Hello. us. We're coming in. Cage. What is this cage? Yeah, this isn't here originally, but this was from the first jail, I believe, in Texas. Okay. You can fact check me on this, but this is, is a haunted jail that is here that you can stay the night at. And they asked to buy one of the, the old cells. It's going off and we're not even in line with it. Okay, let's get out of this way. <gasps> Something just pulled my hair. hair. Something just pulled my hair. Okay. Got hair Someone just like yanked my hair, like not a little bit, my whole bun. When? Like two That's seconds ago. That's why I'm There's someone down here. Oh, when we were upstairs, we turned on your live and you said, did you scratch us? And our rim pod went off. Yeah. So it was like answering you guys upstairs with your live on. In the cathedral. In the cathedral. Yes. And it was weird because I walked into the cathedral. The priest isn't down here. What do you mean? He's not down here. He, he was probably up there with you. That's okay. So That's it was it was literally as you guys were talking about the priest that this happened. Really like I walked into the cathedral. My ears started ringing. I walked out immediately. Stopped. And we're like, let's go ahead and just like finish exploring and then we can do that. Um, and then all of a sudden we heard a bang from the cathedral. So then we walked in. We're like, what are they doing downstairs? Like, I wonder if they're like directly under us right now. You turned it on because we're not asking anything. We're not doing anything. But like, what are they doing down there? And we turn on your live and you literally ask, like, are you what scratched me? And it doesn't go off. And then it goes off for us upstairs. Yeah. And then you said, are you still here? Because then it wasn't responding. And then it went back to responding and ours stopped going off. Yeah, that's so here's what we have down here. We have a nun that's warning us. Wait, also, this has not stopped going off and no one. There's there. someone out there. There, it was, I don't it know was what responding to her questions, like intelligent questions. They're very intelligent out there. Oh. But then, but I think that's the person who followed us in here. Yeah, I think there's someone out there literally pacing. So there's a nun like warning you guys. Yes, warning that's who was with us. That's what? so weird. And something pulled my hair right by of that the, jail where of, it's going of whatever scratched us. Mm. Did your thing say hair too? Yes. 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 Oh, what the way? Oh, I did say hair. Dude, it's on nothing was coming through, and the first thing, what, what? came through is we said pray. <gasps> What is going on? put Listen, hey, everything is gone down here. Is it okay if we come in and join you? 
Yeah, we're going to go back. So guys, for those who, of you who don't know, this is the priest room. This is oh, where the nun conception happened. This is where he did a lot of the bad stuff that he did. We're pretty certain that it was SA and things that are a lot worse than that too. Yeah, we're also this, this is very, a very ungodly, unholy room. Um, I don't know if it's a right. I thought it was talking about my hair being a sin because then we start asking the nun and she's like, yeah, yeah, your hair's a sin because I have colored hair. <laughs> And I'm like, oh okay, I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm yeah. like, she not. Th I think this lady's nice. We've been talking to her the whole time. Hey. This is, this is a nun. Hello. This this is my friend Lizzie. I'm Liz. It's Wait, nice to meet you. Can we ask it? Oh, I'm Nikki. And then this and is then Nick. Nick. And we're just here to talk to you. Like I said, we've been communicating this can whole we time. Ask who pulled my hair? Was it? Can you let us know? Was it the priest? Did the priest pull Nikki's hair? Or is it the demon? Did the demon pull Nikki's hair? Did a nun pull my hair? Did you pull her hair? Or was it something to do with that jail? Do you, maybe they don't know. Do you not know who did it? Do you not know? Where'd you go? Are you still here? What about, was it Stacy? Was it a patient? That's a good question. A patient? Did no one pull my hair? Is she insane? <laughs> is, she, is she crazy? Is she a sinner? It already called me a sinner. <laughs> Did you get scared and leave? Is the priest here now? Did somebody Wait. follow us in here? Do you want Nick to leave? Oh, it's the jury. Oh, he's your guy. I guess I have hey, to leave. It's you. Nick is Listen, very yeah. friendly. He's so this innocent, is, I promise. That's Nikki's boyfriend. They are a very religious couple. They don't do the dirty. They are <laughs> they he's a very nice boy. He you, will protect us. It's like <laughs> yes. Yeah. He's a Christian man and well, I mean to church. Are you okay? can can you can let us know it's be okay? okay? If he walks out of the room for a second, would you say something? Would you tell us who? Pulled my hair pulled if Nick leaves. I think he might not talk till you leave. Do you want to use your so block camera? Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. So crazy. Can you just stand right out here then, Nick? Yeah. I yeah. hope this is my lady because she was she was nice. I'll keep it on. I think you, I'm just gonna go right back under Estes. Yes. Okay. Maybe why they'll not? continue Perfect. to talk. They said we mm -hmm. said pray. So. Okay. We can. I'll pray. If you, uh, I'll pray. You. Uh, so the Are nun yep. said okay. that she does right. not want Nick in here a male, um, and she is looking after us. So uh, Nick st stepped out of the room, and we're gonna see if we can keep communicating with the nun. Yeah, and I'm gonna I'm gonna sit back on the bed and go back under and ask this. I yeah. just want to let y'all know that literally as soon as we came down here, I took out two cat balls and I put them down, and they set them both right off right away. It was been nonstop. Have you had any EMFs too? Oh, um, oh thank you for coming back. back. Not yet. Um, I'm going to go back under and maybe I can hear you through the radio. Can we try talking through the radio? Who asked for us to pray? The nun. The nun asked for us to pray. One. All. All of the nuns. Do you all. want all of us to pray? One all up. One all up. What? Okay. What is your name? I heard slit her throat. <gasps> who? Who's? Oh, the the nun. The, did someone? There was also a doctor who slit the throat of a patient oh, oh, here the, yeah, yeah, in an yeah. in an accident. Like I don't who. Are you telling us a story? I think it's the nun. It's the saying nun? that he slit the nun's throat. I don't know. If I, that is correct, can you back away from that, please? Yeah. Yeah. So he slit the nun's throat. For me, I was. What nun? I was because we we're talking to a nun. Oh my gosh, okay. So can you, can you go to the light again? This isn't something that's documented, correct? Are you sitting on the bed with Kaylee? Pull her back. Me? Who? Do you want us to not be over there? Oh, do you mean pull Kaylee out of the Estes? Her? Her, her, pull her out. Can and you then, confirm that? Can you press the red Christmas light if you want no. her? No, so it's not what it's saying. Right. Pull who out? There's Trinity. Sorry, I have to talk a little bit quieter. There's Trinity. Nikki. There's Nikki. There's a tap. tap back there. I'm, My faith I'm Liz, hurts. And then your faith hurts. Sister, can you tell us what your name is? That 
that. Are we safe in here? Victim? None? The victim was a nun. That's just like confirm what we were talking about. Yeah. Priest. Priest. The priest did it. I want... You were a victim of the priest? Do you feel comfortable go sharing? Go to heaven. You want to go to heaven? Y'all need to listen to this. It was a woman and then there was a man. So when it, when I said yes, and then when I said no right after, the man said no and the woman said yes. Mm -hmm. I don't know what you guys were talking That's about. That's what the woman was okay. saying yes at the, she, and it was a nun that had her throat slit. Oh, and then a man right after said no. <gasps> it was the priest trying to cover his ass probably. Oh. Language, so sorry. Sorry, forgive me sister. I'm gonna go under and just um, Oh, and it, I think it was trying to say pull you out. It said pull her out. That could have also been when it was the yes and the no. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, because it was it was like pull pull her out and then we were trying to figure out like who it was. And then we, we said, said you and it's like yeah. So we're trying to figure tr we were trying to confirm if it was wanting us to pull you out of Estes. No prize if she literally even gets anything. There's nothing coming through. You're talking to Liz now? Is there anything else you want to tell us? You just said you want to get to heaven? Maybe, I don't know if you could speak louder or try even harder to speak through the box, but it's really, really hard to hear. Can you try to speak louder through the box? Can you tell that was us? a voice that was way too quiet to hear. Yeah, that's my point. Can you, tr can you try louder, please? Is anybody still in the room with us? See how she's getting nothing? There's nothing coming through. Like barely? Like That's where? me. Are you the oh. nun? If you're the nun, can you set that off? I know you know how. I don't think, I'm gonna tell you right now, I don't think it's the nun. Is this? No. No. I fucking knew it. Is this the priest? It is. It does feel like it just got like 10 degrees warmer in here. What do you mean? <laughs> okay, maybe it is the nun. Are you the doctor? Can you say who you are? I know. Take a picture. Can you show yourself to us? Maybe sit next to Lizzie. Can you sit next to her? Oh, On the count of three. Whoa. Get the red pot in. It. One. Or maybe I said you're on. I don't know. That was in a, a woman's voice and that I know was in a male's voice. She's gonna be on the camera. Yeah, can you stand right there and try to manifest yourself? We're gonna try to get you in a picture. All right, one, two, three. Thank you. Thank you. We're taking oh. the picture. You said you thank like you that? she said thank you. Oh. Do you like having your pictures taken? I got it. Is there something negative in this building? Maybe upstairs? You were warning us against something before they came down. Is it, what are you warning us against? Did you guys notice there's like animal prints all over this bed? Yeah, there's a there raccoon animals. and like dog. Yeah. And you make this go off if you're telling us there's something bad here. There's something evil in the building. Ugly. Ugly, something ugly. Are you calling us out of it? <laughs> Don't speak to him. <gasps> the priest. Wait, but it might not be. The it ugly was in a male's voice and don't speak to him was in a woman's voice. <gasps> so they were calling us ugly. ugly. It okay. keeps going back and forth. I and I can't you. make out everything because it is really quiet. Oh, that's not very nice. Wait, they said don't speak to him. Oops. Is the priest here? Are you the priest? Or are you the nun? Are you the nun that we're, we've been talking to? I feel like you're the same person we've been talking to. I don't know. I'm so confused. And here. The, the, the nun in here? In here. Or is the priest in here now? This was his bed. Did something bad happen to you in this bedroom? Getting a really cold breeze. I don't know if you guys want to come over here and see if you feel anything. It's near this hand over here. I feel it too. It's actually cooler right here. Yeah, like significantly cooler right here. No, you're not wrong. It's so quiet. It's, it's so hard about you. It's, it's so cold. It's, it's the it's hardest cold. Estes I've ever tried it's to so do. Cold. Yeah, Maybe I'm like, we're in the face. But it then? keeps going like back and forth between male voice, female voice, male voice, female voice. Yep. Male voice does not sound kind. Female nope. voice sounds like it, she's just like trying to like warn us. Go through down here. I think we should. I maybe think we should try the chapel. Else. Yeah. 
<gasps> Do we need to go to the chapel? Can you back away from the rim pod for a second? Wait, it said we needed to pray. To pray. Is it the to demon? Pray. Maybe it's not even what we think it is. Theory. Is that is why there... we need to pray? Those are you. Oh. You, you said thank you after I took it. Um, Kaylee said thank you, and then you said thank you. Yeah. And then it said shh. Gateway and shh. <gasps> maybe, maybe this is responding to the, <gasps> the chapel. Did you guys just hear that bang? No. I thought, I thought that was you. No, that was something over there. I didn't hear it. That was like a oh. boom. Because no one was touching anything. And that's the best. Shh, for a second. And where? I was talking about going up to the chapel. And then it said gateway. Shh. Should we go to the kitchen? No. No, no, Nikki. Oh, no, not no. the kitchen. Oh, we, um, we were saying. What? The incinerator. We were saying <gasps> how we. Wait, please listen God, to this. Dude. We were saying how we felt like we were being cooked alive down here. And we we're like, maybe we're feeling what happened in the incinerator. And that is so crazy. Also, I don't know if you want this in the video, but this is the incinerator down here. Um, this is where they think that they disposed of the body potentially, but this is also where they were getting rid of. Yeah. Really, really, uh... It's, it's heavy stuff. Yeah. I think it says unholy. I don't think so. It well, says what? Weird word. Unholy. Unholy. What are the odds of that in here? Can I tell you something? I've had this and I use it on every investigation ever since I bought it and that word has never came out for me. I want you to look at Trinity's book bag real quick. I oh forgot. God. I oh, forgot. She was on there. Trinity. <laughs> She's like, you're gonna f*** us. So this is... Okay, wait, what? Okay, it's that table. What the f was that? What? Did you see Shadow? No, something ran. Yeah, we saw that upstairs. No, I heard something. I heard f the footsteps. It wasn't us? No. We both saw shadow figures run Two. dart across the hall Two. upstairs. Something's like been chasing in here. Like, maybe a kid. You think Stacy? Okay, guys, so I'm gonna be setting up my Taylor Swift music box, so let's put I just it, make sure it worked, this know. way, and it'll take, mine takes about two minutes to calibrate, and it'll go off like, Periodically of those two, that scared me. Yeah. <laughs> It'll go off periodically within those two minutes. You know what after that. A wheelchair rolling down the hallway at me. Oh, dude, that would be so freaking scary. Just watch this went off out of nowhere and said 7:29 p.m. What? Like as if he'd said, "What time is it?" But no one said anything. We weren't talking. That's... <laughs> Nick, how do you feel about that? Uh. Technology, you know how it is. Yeah, but it's like, oh. by the way, Nick is like a skeptic. My okay. music box is going off again. Yeah. Can you come set this one off? Walk down this hallway? Look. You heard it that way? I heard it both ways at the same time. I heard it that way. That's not No. Was that you tapping? Can you back away from the music and then? Can you go back over to it again if that was you tapping? Can you set it off? I told you there's so intelligent here. Oh my I gosh! How intelligent they are. Hey. It is. Wait here, back. What was that? that? What was it? That sounded like a growl. Yeah. No, it sounded like something metal and empty being hit. Like a pipe. Yeah. <gasps> what? Was that a growl? That's the same thing. Something's being. Touch down there. The kitchen's down there. Are it you said, cooking? It said cook. Should we it go did, look? Did Are you cook. cooking in there? We need to go down there. Let's maybe let's just stand right here and be very quiet for a second. Wasp. It literally landed on my hand. Yeah, I did it. Here, I'll squash it. Hold it. Where is it? Because it's annoying at this point. What? Okay. Well, we're just it's so hard to hit. I have a camera. Where is it? <laughs> Where is it? <laughs> what is going on? Oh my uh, god. Why did you get away from me? Oh, oh, oh my god. Yes! Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 oh god, okay. Moment of silence. That's the most for the excited I've ever seen you in an investigation. Well, because he kept flying right toward his face. <laughs> okay. Um, is there maybe a child down here making noise? Do you want to play? Do you want our attention? Can you make a sound again? Oh my gosh. Don't talk. Let's not talk at all. Let it, let it marinate.
Can you do something louder? Can you knock back for me? It's knocking. It's knocking over there. It's fucking knocking. Can you do that a little bit louder in the direction you want us to go? It did. It did it louder. Maybe let's go that way and ask again. The down there was in the chapel. It was definitely down here. Hard. I think it's down here. It's off. Oh. Wait, okay, let's stand at this entrance and see which way we're going. Okay, can you knock back? Yeah, it's down there. No, I, th I heard it down here. Might be trying to get us to split up. Do you want to play hide and go seek with Knox? You want to play hide and go seek? You hide and seek, but you got to show us where you are with noises, okay? So how we're going to do this is I'm going to do this, and then I want you to knock back and show us where you are, okay? Are you ready? Because I thought I heard it over here. I, me, 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 trying to get us to split up. No, that's literally what it's trying to do. What if, oh, what if we go off in twos? Everyone go down a hall. Why don't you two go down that hallway? You go in there. I'll go down here. And you go over there. Sorry. Okay. Anyone hears any more knocks? What should we do? Yell? And then we all go down there. Down there. Dude. It's messing with, with us. us. I think we all need to go down here. We've heard the most knocks down here. But when we go down here, we hear it over here. When we go down there, we hear it over here. That's the thing. Every time we go in a different area, it's messing with us. I have a really bad headache. I do too. I'm I like, I'm like I heating up like exponentially. I don't know if it's, is, it the, is it this or is it the energy? I feel like it's the energy because like it, it should be getting a little bit cooler now. It should not be heating up. It's cooler in the basement and we felt like we were on Yeah. Fire. Let's split up. If you guys hear it, knock by you and yell and let's see if we can figure out where it is. Like where it actually is. Okay. So I'm going to the chapel. Okay. Yeah, are you good? Like all the way to the chapel? Or are we going all the way down? Yeah. Yeah. You know I, mean? I guess, yeah. Or just wherever you're comfortable with or vibing with. Stacy, are you down here? Stacy. Respiratory therapy, dude. I just heard a scream. There's a scream. There's a girl screaming. A girl screaming. A girl screaming? A girl screaming by Liz. Was the girl screaming? It, it was like a little girl went ah! like really like ah! high pitch like like no think about like like the like dog whistle screaming like ah! yeah okay can we get her to do it again that was a whistle was that a, was that, that was what a, that was that was a whistle the second one was the one we I just heard was like sound like a whistle May, maybe I'm like maybe I thought it was a scream and it was a whistle it could have been a it scream. was so high pitch okay then. Okay, I'm gonna do a scream, see. Oh. You whistle, see if they whistle back. Can you whistle back to me? What's the little girl's name? Stacy. Stacy! How did you know I like basil? Celery salt? You want some, a Creole dish? We can cook right now. Are you playing well? Let me walk. Stacy, are you playing? Oh, that's good. That's all right, all right. Okay, we are split up again for five minutes. When I looked, it was 7.50, so I'm not gonna do any longer than 7.55. <laughs> Nick is having another conniption down there with a wasp. He's becoming the wasp murderer. Um, 
But yeah, if there is something down here, um, it sounded like he wanted us all to split up for some reason. And guys, remember, I know I say this in every single video, but if there's something that you see or that you hear that I'm not seeing or hearing, please let me know in the comments below because sometimes I don't catch everything within the footage like while I'm filming and sometimes I don't catch everything like even editing afterwards. What? My light, my lights, look at my lights. <gasps> I see it. She's playing with my lights. Is that light being touched? Yeah. The entire time. No, that hasn't went off once tonight. No, that's why. But when I told you, look, the lights, the whole strip went off. <gasps> and now she's just touching one of them. Did you hear that? Is that upstairs? There's so many noises above her. We keep hearing stuff upstairs now. There's banging in here. In here? Maybe? Yes. Okay, it wants us in here. I but I, I knocked and I asked it to knock back and there was a tap and then there was a thud. But it almost sounded like it was on the other side of this like alter. I think this place like plays mind like tricks on our minds. What do you mean? Like there's just we're hearing things in different we're all hearing different things. Yeah. Like I heard a growl, you heard metal hitting on it was like like you know like a big what empty tub. What is that? What even is that? We should play some music. Some like Christian music? Some choir music. Okay. It says steamy, sneak and dark. <laughs> You guys can put the, the things now. We're gonna pray. I mean, it asked us to pray earlier. Oh my god. Oh, my god. oh shit. Oh. Something just grabbed my shoe. A mud? I don't know. Something grabbed Something shoe? grabbed my shoe. What? Is there something down there? No. No. I'm gonna put this on. Oh, go ahead. Should I do a procession and walk in here? Wait, you want me to read the Bible right now? All right, guys, I guess it's time for church. Okay, we got our preacher. Do I from back here? Or we got our music oh, going. We have our nun. Oh, my salvation and honor depend on God. He is my strong protector. He is my shelter. Amen. No, I think I have, like, you full need body to. Chills. I know you do. You're <laughs> you never showing. I know. I'm like getting all. <laughs> Sister, what message do you have for us? Please be patient. Thank you. <laughs> What the f that? What do you mean? <laughs> what? A bug, right? Spider web? I don't know. It was like something was like caressing my leg. <gasps> something grabbed your leg and then grabbed her Yeah, leg. something uh, grabbed my foot and then grabbed your leg. Is there something negative crawling around here? At God's command, amazing things happen. Wonderful things that we can't understand. He commands snow to fall on the earth and sends torrents of drenching rain. It's not like thunder. I don't know, but I feel like my neck got scratched. What do you mean? I actually feel Where? it. Where? Right around this area somewhere. Do you see anything? Mm -hmm. uh, does that look like something? Wait, thought, that's like a bruise, that? but that's where I yeah. felt it. Oh, right here? Yeah. That's where that I felt like it. That looks like a scratch. It's not like clear, but it looks like, like a it looks, little. Yeah. Should we do Estes in here? We could, yeah. We'll try it. I'm scared. Okay, guys, so I'm gonna go under Estes in the chapel, um, and Trinity's gonna be asking questions. Well, everyone's gonna be asking questions, but Trinity's gonna push a little bit. Because it almost feels like, I don't know if anyone else is getting this vibe, it kind of feels like something's like, things are like scared to say something. No, no, no. I think that things are scared to come in here. And in here? Scared to come in here? In here, mm -hmm. in here and this is where the bad thing is. That's what I've been thinking this entire time. And I like to keep quiet. Is there anything in this church that is willing to communicate with us. Keith. 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 Who's in this chapel with us? Tell us what your name out. is. Out. Keep out. I thought she said Palace. Palace. Is, it is this your territory? Is this where you hang out the most? No. Do you hang out the most? I won't. They're not go. Here. No, I won't go. They won't come in. It's rude. Oh, they won't come in here. It's rude. No. No. Who's in here? Come on. Why? Don't. Speak. You, you can't tell us what to do. We're allowed to speak. Anyway. Why don't you want people to be in the chapel? Come on. Where? Cooking. 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 You. You are cooking. You. cooking. <gasps> oh. We took that two different ways. <laughs> what do you mean you're cooking Please. us? Do you want to incinerate us? Overall, I heard that. I heard 
Boys. You want to cook him? Out. Boys out. They want Nick to go out. Should I just, I'm, I'm kind of first, I go with Gaston. Thank you. Well, but then I don't. Go. <gasps> I can I Whatever's coming through is aggressive. Yes. My camera's dying. Get out. Oh, I don't, I don't like him. Yeah, but I don't know if that's safe. Why do they want us girls alone? Is this the priest? I'm obligated. You're not obligated. Die. This is the Die. priest. Die. Is this the priest? Take. Is this the priest? Care. Go now. Why do you want Nick to leave? Congregation. Is it because he's not a woman? In the end, it won't come out. Well, I will it. Will it not come what out? What did it say? Um. Will the demon not come out if Nick's here? Let me type it. It was like one of those things that we had okay, that we had talked about on the rules. Oh, that you don't say on the rules at Hill House. Yeah. Okay, can you wait? Say it without saying it? It was trying to trick her into say something. What was it trying to Whatever rhyme. Wait. I I don't wanna say it. Rhyme, a rhyme. Um Don't say it out loud anyone. My Lilect. I don't know. I Oh, oh yeah, yeah. A with C. an A. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, don't say that. Whoa. People. What do you what are you trying to Go. do? Go. What are you trying yeah. to get Liz to do? That's what that is. I That's what that is. That. Come on, prove her no, wrong. No, no, no. She's lucky she is. You're dying. Who's dying? I mean, technically we're all dying. Every day we're closer <laughs> to death. Who made that noise? Won't. Get out. What are you gonna do if he doesn't get out? What will you do? I'm crying. No, I don't, I don't think you're friendly. Is this- Just look at me. Is this the priest? Are you- Damn. Damn. Are you mad that And she, Jesus. Are you mad that she won't say that? Maybe I said you're damned. Who are we talking to right now? Who are you? Questions? Are you a nun? Mm, I just saw Look shadow. out the window. I just saw shadow. Go. Look out the window. Do you see me? Do you see Which me? window? Which window? Show yourself. Show us where you are. I'm right here. Oh my where? God. Knock on something. I'm also in there. Oh my God, they're everywhere. Are you us? Pull it open. The coffin? Oh. Go God. get some. Go inside? I think she said go Whoa. get some. Do you want Trinity to do the Estes method inside the coffin? You're right. You're right. Whoa. Are you gonna do it? Yeah, I'll do it. All right. It's me, it's me. What? That was wild. It said that fault. it wants her to go inside the coffin and do the Estes method. <laughs> I said, do you want her to go in the coffin and do the Estes method? It's like, you're right. Why did you want her to get into the coffin? Oh. I don't know what it said, but it was creepy. Yeah. Say it again. She didn't hear you. Or you can tell the envoy. Gathered. Gather, gathered here today to talk to you. We're all, where do you want us to gather at? I feel like this is the area you would gather. Free. Free? Are you wanting to be free? Why are you stuck here? Who are you? What are you? Knock, knock. Who's, Who's there? there? Knock on something, Liz. <laughs> Hello? <gasps> hey, it's me. Are it's Brittany, bitch. Are you a child? Do you want to hear a knock-knock joke? In the room? Yes, this girl in the room. Can you- Death. Oh. oh. Well, yeah, she does look kind of dead right now. She's not dead. Don't worry about her. Always. Oh, okay. There's always death in this room. I mean- What did you do? To who? To her? Trinity volunteered. Her? Yeah, she's totally okay. She's I alive. promise. Come look at her. She's breathing. Yeah. We put her in the coffin. She that's where she wanted to be. Is that okay? Can you tell me in the side? Yeah, aside side from you. How many people are in the room? Can you tell me? There's one, two, three, four, five, six would be you. 
Is there six people? Can you tell me how many are in here? Can you count? She's counting. <gasps> Ain't no, no. Some member? You're in the whole hospital. You. Oh, so if you want us to go outside. No, him. You're a crawler, right? It's a crawler. It's what? a crawler, dude. Okay, that sounds like people like talking and yelling. I heard a baby screaming. I heard walking. What? I thought that just sounded like No, no, like there walking. was walking, but then there was like a voice or a We're character. all hearing different stuff right now. Who, who's, who's, who's messing who's with us? Who's out there? Do you know who's out there? Can you tell us, please? No, no, we don't know who we're talking to. Because the thing is, is that whatever's here, we don't know if it's an actual nun or if it's just masquerading as one. Or if what we're talking to isn't even a nun. Yeah. Are you a nun? Do you That's it. That's it. Oh, sorry. Your phone turned off. What's your password? I mean, we also we didn't like, see something crawl. Wait, we right. haven't yeah. gone upstairs yet, and we keep hearing stuff from upstairs. Well, we went upstairs and walked it. You walked it already? Okay. Mm, yes, there was nothing up there. We looked. Mm -hmm. What about the vibes? That's no vibes? No vibes either. Upstairs mm -hmm. boring. Yeah. Makes so. sense. Both, so then why, why do the footsteps keep happening in the crawling? Well, maybe they're watching us from up there. Like, That's because they're afraid to come they're in. They're watching us up there. Oh. Hallway. Mm. Hello. I don't know what this room is, but I like it. This is where. I, oh, this is where we set up. Yeah. Okay. Before I found the tea. This is where oh, I found the tea. This is going to be the last part of our investigation today. We're going to do Estes in one of the surgery rooms in the adult unit, um, and Kaylee is going to go under. Earlier, um, me and Liz saw two shadow figures. Is there? Someone over here that ran down the hall earlier. You die. Who? Murder. Who, Who was murdered? There was a lot of deaths here. Were you a victim of some malpractice? Do you know Dr. Norsky? Die. Did you die here or did you kill someone here? Do you know where you are? I'm scared. Is this Stacy? Are you a child? Evil. Oh, is there something here that's evil? Get out. Are you trying to protect us? You're bad. Oh, we're bad. Why do you think we're bad? I feel something touching my fucking head. Yeah, I felt this. I felt it. It felt like... It's interesting that the two people with tattoos are the ones being touched right now. Do you think that Kaylee is bad? Were you trying to put a cross on her forehead? Were you trying to anoint Kaylee? You know. She's not a bad person. None of us are bad people. Just because we have tattoos and piercings and different color hair doesn't mean we're bad. Mm -hmm. They also said you're not alone. So can you tell me who's in here with us? Yeah. Did you come here for treatment from substance abuse? I'm hiding. Why are you hiding? Do you want to come out? It's safe right now. Extreme. Extreme headache. So, for those of you who don't know, Nikki gets headaches whenever there's something negative around. Is there something demonic here? I don't know that it would even tell us, so. Then leave. Seven? What Seven is the significance number? of that number to you? It's a dumb number. Is your name Seven? 
Shut up. Because we have power over mm-hmm. it. Listen. Mm-hmm. You shut up. Don't be rude. We haven't been rude to you once. No. You're the thing that attacks people? Idiot. They're not attacking me emotionally. Who are you? What do you call yourself? I have knowledge. I'll hurt you. No, you won't. You can't hurt us. Dead. What, what happened to the animals? Go ahead. You. That's not very Dead. nice. No. Devil. Okay. I think if there was really a demon here or the devil was here, we would be hearing a lot more stuff. I think you're just putting on a front. Hmm. Hmm. Speak to him right now. We're trying. I'm trying to. Are they talking about speaking to the devil? Because we're not trying to speak to the devil. Mm-hmm. Speak. To who? Like, Don't disrespect. Not He'll trying. kill. Is the nun again? Is this a nun? Who's gonna who's okay. going to? He killed us. Oh, who killed you? Did you hear that back there? Yeah. Can you tell us who killed you? You can trust us. Stacy? Is this Stacy? Uh, I don't know if that's Stacy. Are you saying that Stacy killed you? Is Stacy actually a child? Down here? Get me? Are you in the basement? Yeah. It said my name. So, what about Kaylee? What are you trying to tell us about her? What are you trying to say to Kaylee? Do you want Kaylee to go down to the basement? Please, I'm watching. Do you want her to come get you and bring you back up here? What are you feeling right now? Do you want Kaylee to go alone? I feel like I'm hearing a lot of stuff over there. I'm having some trouble like gauging how I'm feeling too. I can't tell like, what we're talking to right now. Are they call? I have no idea. I'm just saying, because that sound made me think of like door opening. Don't fret. Let's make sure the door's unlocked. Be careful, Becky. Let's pick up some stuff. Oh shit! What the fuck? What? 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 My fing light died. Perfect timing. I know. That's (laughs) that's scary timing, dude. Broken. What's broken? Um, did the office turn off? I charged it enough for it to be alive this entire trip. It, I think it's dead. It got oh. drained. You know what else though? All of my batteries are being drained. My light is almost dead. And my light was fully, was fully on. Walk and- out. Oh. Anything else happened? Um, it just said that it didn't want to talk to us, but Satan did. So we're, I pulled her out. Okay, wait, what? We have to put this back. I asked, um, now that we're alone, like, do you, do you have anything you want to tell us? And it said, no. And I said, well, do you still want to talk to us? And it said, he did. And I said, well, what does he want to, what does he want to tell us? And then it said Satan. I mean, you can see it on our cameras. <laughs> Satan. Hey guys, so that's going to conclude the end. Okay, guys, so that's going to conclude the end of our video today. We decided, or at least I decided, I don't really want to talk to Satan. I don't really want to stick around for that. We had such a fun time here. Um, it was perfect. I feel like the right amount of thrill, but also not as intense as Hill House. I felt like I need a little bit of a break from the intensity, but I, I really want to come back here again. I hope you guys subscribe to see our next investigation. I'm really excited about that one. And don't forget to subscribe. And if you are already subscribed, make sure you hit the bell notifications and then go to the settings on your iPhone and make sure the notifications for YouTube are turned on so that you actually get those. Um, and like I said before, if you see or hear anything that I didn't see or hear, please let me know down in the comments below. And I love you guys and I will see you on the next episode. Just kiss my hand and it's covered in 
Yorktown Dirt.